as Scrim always says, it's really about y'all, not about us. Um, Thank you, thank you. Also, I would like to thank each and every one of the performers who performed today. That made this great day what the fuck it was. I mean, Cheddar, Jerm, it's a Ramirez, Shokra, it's a Me. Yo. It's my fucking gang up here. I love these guys. Man. I love these guys. And I love you guys. And I think it's important to say. I think it's important to say, listen, me and Ruby can only do so much. And, and for Grey Day to be what it is, to be this awesome fucking event, and not just me and Ruby popping up and performing. This awesome event that all these artists get to take part in and make special. Please make some noise for them one more time. Like, oh, you know, me and Ruby can only do so fucking much, man. These guys are awesome. Turnstile is fucking amazing. Um, So, uh, I like to take the time out at the end of every show to say this, uh, because I think it's important. Uh, it's a lot to say, and I never know what order to fucking say it in. So, however it comes out is how it's gonna come out. Uh, there's a couple things I wanna say to you guys. One, listen, you guys always come up to us and tell us how we saved your life, some of you, and I don't know what to do with that. Seriously, I I would have never, ever in my fucking life thought I would hear someone come up to me and say that fucking shit, dude. I'm just a normal motherfucker. Uh, but I don't think you guys, I don't think you guys realize that y'all saved my life. Y'all saved Ruby's life. Y'all fucking, I'm serious. If it wasn't for you guys, I would be fucking dead because let me tell you, let me tell you the spot I got in, okay? The drugs basically stopped working, all right? I'm a fucking drug addict, you know? Alcoholic. I have depression. I have anxiety. I have so much fucking shit, we'd be here till midnight if I kept listening, okay? And a lot of these guys, I don't want to speak for them, but a lot of these guys share, share the same, if not different, issues. And I got to a point, the drugs kept me alive for a long time because I didn't know how to cope with life and it made me okay in the world. But at some point, the drugs stopped working. And it was that point, like two years ago, that I started going out of my fucking mind and I wanted to kill my fucking self. But I didn't have the balls to pull the fucking trigger, but was slowly fucking working on it. And if it wasn't for the guys I have around me, if it wasn't for Ruby, if it wasn't for Kyle, for Dana, for everyone that was able to help me out when I couldn't fucking do it, I would not fucking be here. I would not fucking be here. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't want to live anymore, man. I didn't want to fucking live, dude. I can't tell you what it's like to think all of this shit will solve your problems. I thought all of this would solve my problems. And to get there, and I still felt the same, if not worse, and it wasn't a fucking problem to solve. Dude, I thought that was it for me. But you guys, man, you guys gave me a fucking reason to keep going. You guys gave me a reason to keep going. And I, I, know, I, I know 
for a fact, I speak for a lot of guys up here. When we can't think of nothing else and we don't want to go on, you guys really don't fucking know how much you saved our fucking lives. And with that being said, it's mutual, brother. It's a two-way street. I love you too. And with that being said, listen, just because just because I got sober doesn't mean I got better. And a matter of fact, I got worse. I got crazier because I didn't have my coping mechanism anymore. And because of that, I had to reach out to good help. I couldn't figure this shit out on my own. And I want you guys, if you guys are ever fucking, no matter what you're going through, I want you guys, please, if you need help, get help. Please, please. I'm begging you, please get help. If you need help, please get help, man. It's okay, it's okay to have someone fucking help you out. Because I couldn't figure it out. The way I was doing it, thinking it was gonna end me up in a fucking grave, man. And I would have heard so many people doing that. Uh, so please, man, don't let it don't let it get too dark. It ain't got to get too painful for you to go out and get help. And also, there's a lot of days where myself and a lot of these guys up here, you know, again, I'm speaking for these guys too. I say this, this isn't just me. Where, you know, my brain likes to tell me that even as I'm up here in front of you guys, that I'm I'm not good enough. I don't deserve to fucking be up here. Uh, I'm a fraud. I'm not love. Love about filling the blank. Can any of you guys relate to that feeling? Yeah. Where you feel like you're not loved, you're not wanted, you're a fraud. You know what I'm saying? Can you guys relate? So look, this is simple, man. Uh, some people that knew better than me taught me this, and I'm so grateful for them. I've done a lot more work, but I'm going to keep it to this simple little thing that they told me. Um, that voice is a motherfucking lie. That voice is bullshit. That is your brain trying to kill you. Do not believe it because I can tell you, if no one told you they love you today, I fucking love you. I love you guys. You guys are worthy of love. You guys are the real deal. You guys are part of our fucking family, man. So, I love you guys so fucking much. If you guys ever feel alone, you guys ever feel like you ain't got nobody, because sometimes, even in a room full of all of these people, I feel like I'm the only one in the room. And I want to let you guys know that if you guys ever feel like that, it's not the case, man. You got us for life. You got all of us for life. We understand what you're going through. We fucking get it, and we fucking love you, and we want you to take care of yourself. We want you to take care of each other. Again, if you need help, please, man, please get help, all right? Thank y'all. I love you so much. And also, and to those I love, thank you for sticking on.